you may be asked uh, if uh, you quote field parameters for dynamic axis and uh, dynamic major that what was the option you have prior to field parameters to achieve the dynamic dimension or axis now prior to field parameters we used to use bookmarks and button that was the one option now this method involved creating necessary visual for each of the desired axis and dimension and then we used to use selection hide those and you know make you the uses of button another technique was to manipulate the data model by unpivoting the relevant columns in power bi such as item brand category subcategory which would result in creating a type or attribute and representing attributes values so these were tricky methods i'll just try to showcase you quickly here now what i'm going to do here is basically i'll tell you the two options so let's first start with the unpipe voting one so for that what i need to do is i need to use take the help of the power query so i'll go to transform data transform data and what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate the item dimension now i'll say here uh, duplicate and i'll let me call it as item up unpivoted and then i'll go out to all these columns and let me remove these columns i don't want so many things so i'll remove these columns and in fact our, na our name is pretty going to make it pretty big but let's for the timing do it select all these four columns and we'll say unpivot columns unpivot only selected columns we can do so we get a table like this and we say file close and apply and then we go here once the data is loaded we have to go to our model and join this table now i have duplicated that's why because i don't want to uh, change the original table so and you can see there is a join which is automatically created between item up and item which i don't want i'm bringing it nearing uh, i'm bringing it near to the table so that i can so i need to drop this join and then i'm going to create it item id to item id now this attribute has been created which i'm going to change as type and this is going to be a many to many because item id is going to repeat but what i'm going to say it's fine it's many to many but i'll say item up filter the sales and that's direction i'm going to keep here and then this attributes let's rename this attribute in item up as type So now I can create a slicer which is basically on type and then I will have a visual where I will have value on the axis and bring in some major here and I can say brand so you will see brand I will say category you will see category name you can see name subcategory subcategory and you can make it a single select now the other way which is there was the bookmarks so what we supposed to do in that is basically i'll just quickly take one example i'll create a visual brand and with the brand let me take net let me make it as a clustered column bar control c control v i'll just keep a little bit of difference here so that you can understand these are two different visuals and then i'll bring in category here I'll remove the brand. So now these are two visuals. Then we used to go to views and we say selection. Now here I'll hide one of them and this stage I can say this is my a new bookmark. So I go to the bookmark menu and I'll say add a bookmark. Let's say I'll call it. Let it be bookmark 4, okay? Then I hide this and I vis make it visible and I'll add another bookmark. Let's call it bookmark 5. Fine. So bookmark four and bookmark five I've created. If I click here, you can see bookmark four or bookmark five. So let me add the buttons to control this. So I can go to button and I can add the blank button. Let me bring it little bit down. Let me make it little bit bigger. So now I need to do two things. First of all, in the style on the pro format properties, I can switch on the text and write down. Let me call it as brand. And then I can go to the action and inside the action I can say it is a bookmark 
and inside the bookmark i can say bookmark 4 now i can duplicate this button and now i can rename this under the style text as category and then i can go to the action and i can change my action from bookmark 4 to bookmark 5 So now I got the two buttons and I can switch using those. So what I can do is control click in the desktop we do control click. So if I do control click on brand it is showing me brand. If I say control click on category it shows me category. But if you go to Power BI service there you can simply click on the buttons you don't need a control click. So in this manner we used to create the access slicer uh using the bookmarks and button. Now this feature can be completely replaced with the field parameters but it doesn't mean that bookmark and buttons doesn't have a role in power bi they still have a role for many other things which it can do just like make creation of menus etc so if they ask you about the alternate you can say yes bookmarks was the previous alternate and unpivot thing the columns was another alternate in this manner you can answer this question